Welcome to Burma Democratic Consent. This is Mo Nien Piu. Today I would like to discuss about gender streak. If Burmese gender is willing to negotiate with the opposition leader, they must come to discussion table and must release all political prisoners. This is the first step for war and they must prove it by doing so. We do not accept any delaying tactics or small-scale concession or using tricks. Our Sun Suji said she is willing to cooperate with the region to make the process a success. Student leaders also called for the genuine dialogue and to recognize 1990 election result. Region is effectively ignoring the international community and will of the Burmese people for nearly 20 years now. Enough is enough. Under the brutal dictatorship, people are suffering very tremendously. Thousands of lives were lost, thousands in the prisons facing through the torture and are denied to receive proper medical treatment and region will kill more people in order to hold power. Political prisoners are very vulnerable at the hands of the brutal military region. United Nations and most of the Western government are mostly doing lip service regarding Burma crisis. Gender is using prisoner release as the bargain chip. They always did in the past and will do in the future. We must be very vigilant not to follow gender's game plan and we should not let gender to have more time and space to manipulate international community and to oppress Burmese people. Gender wanted to ease off pressure by releasing a few political prisoners but they can rearrest them whenever they want. And you can see number of political prisoners doubled in the meantime. We must promote and realize four main principles at the same time, which are strategically very important. To recognize 1990 election result, to convene people's parliament based on 1990 election result, to review 2008 constitution, to release all political prisoners. We have to promote them equally. For more information, please visit Bama Democratic Consent website at www.bdcbama.org. Thank you.